Well, today's game day in Corvallis and it features football. Obviously, it also gives the athletic program a chance to showcase some other teams and there's always a lot of excitement around the three time national champion Beaver baseball team might have heard of them this year. They have a new coach who knows what it's like to win that title. Kathy's live in Corvallis once again with former Beaver catcher and now head coach Mitch Canham. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Maggie, and joining us here for this little session is the Oldfield family. Mitch walked up to their tailgate. I said, let's do it right here because, Dick, you have a burning question. What is that? I do. How, how are you going to build on the great culture that OSU has built with you as a player and Pat Casey as a coach, and how do you take that forward now? You're saying big shoes to fill. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure, though, Mitch. No. Well, I look at it, um, learned a tremendous amount from Coach Casey um, and Dan Spencer and the rest of the coaches uh, while I was here and having been in professional baseball for a handful of years and managing a lot of games, the learning curve was, was steep. And I think that, you know, I have a firm foundation of what we are as a family and where we want to go. We're going to be doing things like player development plans, trying to find the best uh, version of each player. And the same thing continues, and that's family and love and pouring into each and every person, both student athletes and the coaching staff is a huge part of our success. Take us back to Omaha. You got to be part of two <laughs> dog piles. I mean, was one better than the other? And does that feeling stay with you today? Well, I, was, I wasn't I was actually on the dog pile. I was underneath both of them. Uh, <laughs> As the catcher, that happened. Correct, neither of which I uh, was able to breathe. So when everyone got off uh, the dog pile, I was able to breathe. And that itself was a great feeling as well, being able to breathe again. Um, Two phenomenal years and really three phenomenal years. In 05, we win as well. And every year we built uh, a little more to our foundation and the success and the pattern of which we want our behaviors to go after. And, you know, in, in 18, I remember sitting in my, in my office watching the game and being on a text thread with many other Beaver uh, uh, family members of mine. And I, I knew I wasn't the only one sitting in my office crying tears of joy uh, for, for the program. That's beautiful. And so now the question is, Coach, not an easy one, how do you get back there? I mean, do you think you have the talent right now in the dugout? I think that um, just from talking with our guys and watching over the past several years and having someone like Coach Bailey there and the support systems of the university that we have, I think we have a great opportunity in front of us to get back there. And not only get there, it's, it's never been the goal. We're going to go win the thing. And that's what we fight for every day. We can't be afraid to talk about it because our, our words turn into actions and behaviors and then we can achieve it. If we're afraid to talk about it, we're never going to achieve it. And this group has that ability. Wonderful attitude. I have to tell you what impressed us most was before we went on, Mitch said after this I get to go home for date night. <laughs> he has two kids, yeah. but he's coming with the wife to the game. And yes. tell us where you and your wife met. This was so cute. We went, ah, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, my, my wife, Marlis, and I, we met in high school uh, in Lake Stevens, Washington. We met in uh, Mr. Uncle's class. And uh, she walked by me one time and I haven't been able to turn away since. And we've, uh, she went to Seattle U, I was down here, but she came to all the games. And uh, we have two beautiful, intelligent children. And you know, now we get an opportunity to sit down and, and eat dinner together and wake up and not be in a suitcase all the time like we were in uh, professional baseball. When you're with the Mariners organization, thank you so much for coming by and best of luck, right? Yes, this guy's absolutely. a winner, isn't he? Yes. The Oldfield family gives you a thumbs up. <laughs>